Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to a new series on our channel about biostats. We're going to be starting with our first video about how to evaluate a diagnostic test. So it'll cover sensitivity and specificity. So with that said, let's start with sensitivity. If you open any textbook, you'll probably be greeted with this definition of sensitivity, which is the proportion of those who do have the disease who test positive. In other words, it's the probability that when the disease is present, the test is positive. Now this definition is good when you want to come back and review sensitivity, but it doesn't really alone explain sensitivity. So we need a consistent framework that we can always apply sensitivity to so as to not ever forget it. So what is going to be that consistent framework? Let's have it in the form of a 2 by 2 table. So we're going to put disease up here and test down here. And whenever you, know, you uh, get a question on sensitivity or specificity, always try and keep the positives where the positives are and the negatives where the negatives are. That way you don't get confused during the actual exam. So disease up here, test down here, positive here, negative here, positive here, negative here. Some people do have the disease and they'll get tested positive. That's a true positive. Some people do not have the disease and they'll get tested negative, and that is a true negative. Now, sometimes you can have mistakes. Sometimes the the person does have the disease, but they'll get tested negative. Now that's a wrong negative, wrong negative, false negative. Sometimes people do not have the disease, they'll get tested positive. That's a wrong positive, wrong positive, false positive. So keep these terms in your head as they'll become very relevant in the next few concepts. So let's talk about the formula for sensitivity. It's true positive over true positive plus false negative. So if you go back to the definition, it's the proportion of those who do have the disease who test positive. Re recall that people who do have the disease, in other words, these guys, true positive and false negative, and we're only interested in these guys, which are the true positives, those who test positive. So it's going to be true positive, these guys, over everyone with the disease, which are all of these guys, true positive and false negative. A good mnemonic to remind you with, to always apply it to sensitivity, sensitivity you hear that n and there's a reason why i wrote s n as sensitivity to always remind you that it's going to be true positive over true positive plus false negative so just remember that false negative and then flip the other two terms true positive true positive before we talk further about how sensitivity can rule out disease rule in disease etc etc let's quickly contrast it with specificity which is its exact opposite so specificity its definition is the proportion of those who do not have the disease who test negative in other words it's the probability that when the disease is absent the test is negative so those who do not have the disease true negative and false positive these guys and we're only interested in those who test negative, so these guys. So it's going to be true negative, true negative, over true negative plus false positive, everyone without a disease. And that's how the formula makes sense. Another visual mnemonic, specificity, you hear that P? Just remember, false positive and flip the other two terms, true negative, true negative. So what is all this talk about ruling in and ruling out diseases? If you came across any textbook, you probably had the question in your head. How does sensitivity rule out diseases if the entire formula is people with the disease? And I always use this example to hopefully explain this common misconception. So, two dogs. We'll name the left one Max, we'll name the right one Miley. Max is a very sensitive dog, Miley is a very specific dog. For the purposes of this example, let's just pretend that they are 100% sensitive and specific, respectively. So. To elaborate further on this example, let's add a few more key items. So a car, a cat, and a criminal. And just to add the last bit of detail, let's suppose that criminals can wear only two different colors. For example, red or blue, okay? So let's start with Max and how he can rule out diseases. Now recall that he's a sensitive dog and he's 100% sensitive. So Go back to your layman term for sensitive. It is someone with heightened senses, someone who will not let anything go by without alerting him. So, that's no different for Max. If a car walks by, he will bark. If a cat walks by, he will bark. If a criminal walks by wearing either color, he will bark. Now, barking here is a positive, but if he barks on the cat and car, that's false positive. We don't care if a cat or a car walks by. We only care if a criminal walks by. So what's the important interpretation here? Max can sometimes give us false positives. Max can sometimes give us true positives. However, Max 
When he does not bark, I am sure that there is no one outside. In other words, if he gives me a negative, I am sure there's no one outside. I can rule out that there's no car, cat, or criminal outside. That's where the rules out comes from. What about Miley? Well, she's the exact opposite. Miley really hates the color red. So if a criminal walks by wearing the color red, she's going to go nuts and she's going to start barking. So what's the important interpretation here? Miley can sometimes give us false negatives. A criminal wearing blue can come in and would never know she's not going to bark. That's a false negative. Sometimes she can give us true negatives. A car is going to walk by, a cat's going to walk by, and we're never going to know because Miley is not going to bark. So that's a true negative. However, if she starts barking, I am certain that there is a criminal wearing red outside. In other words, I can rule in the fact that there is a criminal outside because she's barking. That's where the rules in comes from. So that's how sensitivity rules out diseases. That's how specificity rules in diseases. And with that last part said, tune in for our next video about biostats. Consider liking and subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.